Welcome to WebWiz. Being able to add media like pictures and videos to your posts is an important skill to learn if you want to have a successful blog or website. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add media to your posts and pages using WordPress. We already know that posts, the editor for posts and pages are uh, almost identical, so I'm only going to show you how to add it in posts. However, whatever you learn in editing posts, you can also apply to pages. First, I'm going to show you how to add pictures to your posts. So go to your dashboard and let's create a new post by clicking Posts on the left sidebar, clicking Add New. Enter a title for your post. I'm going to call this Picture Post. Click the Visual box to start typing in visual text to describe your posts. You can type whatever you want in there. Now, in order to upload or insert media, there is an upload and insert area right here. Four, button that, four buttons next to it. There's a picture frame, a video film, um, musical notes, and a star. The picture frame is for adding pictures. The video is for adding videos. The uh, musical notes is for adding audio. And the media star is for adding other media like PDFs. If you uh, click on the picture frame, there will be a pop-up box that will give you three areas that you can choose to add your picture from. You can add it from your computer, from a URL, or from your media library. I may show you how to use the media library um, in a future video, however, right now we're going to ignore it. If you want to add a picture that's on your uh, computer, in uh, some maybe in your documents, you can just click from computer, select files, and it will... Um, allow you to search through your computer to find the picture you're looking for. I'm going to show you how to add from a URL, that is, from a website. You click on from URL, you will see that there are various um, boxes that you can fill out to add information to your picture, only two of which are mandatory, and those are the two with the red stars, the image URL and the image title. Now the image URL is the area on the, on the internet where the picture is located, and the title is a title that you're going to give to the picture. Now, the image URL is not the website where you found the picture. It's the area of the internet where the picture is located. So if I want to add this picture of the WordPress logo from Wikipedia, I can choose the Wikipedia page URL, wikipedia.org slash whatever, but that won't work because we need not the Wikipedia page URL, but the picture URL. Right click on the picture and click copy image address. Go back and you can paste that right into the image URL. And then just give your picture a title. Click insert into post. What we see is that in the visual box, our picture has been added. If you click preview, you will see how this picture will look once it's published. But what we see is that this picture is too big. Now, if your picture is too big or too small, you're going to have to edit the HTML code. Exit out of the preview and click HTML instead of visual. This is the HTML code for the WordPress picture. Now, this may look a little confu confusing at first, but actually it does make a little bit of sense. This is the title that we gave to the picture, WordPress picture. See, it says title equals WordPress picture. This is the URL for the picture. This is the width and height of the picture. If we want to edit the width or height of the picture, you can just change these numbers. Now, of course, this has to be in proportion to your picture. My picture has a smaller height than width, as we can see. So I, if I made them equal, the picture would be all distorted. So um, you can change it to be whatever proportions you want. I'm going to change this to be 270 by 61. That's in proportion. And now if we click preview, the picture is smaller and is um, more in proportion to the text. So now you know how to add pictures to your posts and how to edit the HTML code to change the way the picture looks. You can now publish your picture posts and now you know how to create picture uh, posts with pictures. 
but what if you wanted to add a video to your posts? Let's go to the dashboard and create a new post called video post. I'm going to call it video post. You can call it whatever you want. Make sure visual is highlighted. Enter some text. Now, I don't like to use the um, add video button. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it just displays a link instead of actually embedding the video. So what I'm going to do is go to... Um, actually, you could do this if you were adding a video off of your computer. But since I'm going to be adding off of YouTube, I'm going to add uh, my last video, which was on adding widgets to your WordPress website. What I'm going to do is go to the YouTube video and make sure you're on the video page, not the channel page. What you're going to do is, if you are on the channel, click view comments related videos and more. And it should take you to the actual video page. You can just pause it because it's going to start playing as soon as it loads up. What I'm going to do is right click on the video and click copy video URL. And then I'm going to paste it. Sometimes it doesn't always work. Let's try that again. Let's click share, embed. Let's copy this, embed code. Let's add it to the HTML area. Let's click preview. All right, and that worked. It has embedded the YouTube video into your post. Here it is. People can watch it. Welcome to WebWiz. You can exit out of that preview. Now, if you wanted to change the um, HTML code of the video, you could do it. You can see that, like a picture, it's very... Um, easy to understand this. this is the width of the video, the height of the video, this is the um, the URL of the video. Now if we wanted to make this video smaller, although right now it's at a good height, you could just make it smaller, say 320, 187.5. And this is the size of video that I use um, if you go to the home page of WordPress, you can see that the videos are very small so they don't take up all of the home page. This is the dimensions I use, 320 by 187.5. Preview. And look how small the video is. You can also make it larger, however, then it, will, it might start to take up the entire, uh, it might run over the widgets and be too big. Um, audio is very similar. If you wanted to add audio, it's just like adding a picture. And media, you use the media library, which I may show you how to use in another video. However, um, now you know how to add pictures and videos to your posts and pages, because pages are extremely similar to posts. And your, uh, being able to add pictures and posts should make it easier for your blog to look more professional or your website to look more professional. So, thank you for watching this WebWiz tutorial.